today we will learn about the principles of treatment rahul is ill so rahul's mother asked him to rest after taking a rest rahul was feeling better than before can you tell why rahul felt better after resting for some time let us tell you resting conserves energy in the body this energy helps in making body free from disease that is healthy care taken to make the patient disease free is called treatment you must have experienced that some diseases like cold are cured without taking medicines but some diseases are cured only after taking medicines let us see how the use of medicines cures the disease there are two ways of treating infectious diseases using medicines the first way is to reduce the effect of the disease and the second is to eliminate the cause of the disease let us understand these in detail for the treatment of diseases like pain fever and diarrhea doctors give such medicines to the patient which reduce the effects that is symptoms of the disease also adequate rest also reduces some symptoms treatment that reduces the effects of the disease is called symptom based treatment symptom based treatment gives comfort to the patient but this treatment does not eliminate the cause of the disease that is infecting microorganisms therefore the disease does not cure completely to completely cure the disease it is necessary to kill infectious microorganisms therefore for treatment of some diseases such medicines are used which eliminates pathogens that is infectious microorganisms we know that the different microorganisms are classified into different groups body organization of organisms of different classes is different therefore their cellular structure is also different due to which in the organism of each class the chemical reactions that is essential biochemical life processes the stage of making new substances that are biosynthesis pathways and the respiration process is different therefore chemical reactions occurring in an organism of one class do not occur in the organisms of the other classes that's why treatment of the disease is done on the basis of the class of the causative pathogen for example the processes in the human cells and the processes in the bacteria are different therefore to kill the infectious bacteria such medicines are used that only blocks the synthesis pathway of bacteria due to which bacteria cannot synthesize the necessary substance for life therefore bacteria do not grow and die for example in the cells of humans there is no cell wall so in humans the process to synthesize the cell wall does not take place and bacteria has cell wall so in bacteria the process to synthesize the cell wall takes place the medicine penicillin inhibits the process of cell wall synthesis due to which bacteria are unable to synthesize the cell wall and the cell wall become thin and they are killed easily essential process that occur in the bacteria 
do not occur in humans so medicines have no effect on humans because this medicine only prevents the essential process of bacteria its effect will only on bacteria and not on other microorganisms a medicine that inhibits bacterial growth or kills microorganisms is called antibacterial or antibiotic similarly a medicine that inhibits the growth of virus or kills the virus is called antiviral a medicine that inhibits the growth of fungi or kills the fungi is called antifungal and medicines that inhibit the growth of protozoa or kill protozoa are called antiprotozoal antiprotozoal medicines kill the malarial parasite protozoa plasmodium vivax bacteria and protozoa are made up of single cell so they have their own machinery to make their own essential chemical substances in contrast viruses are non cellular organisms virus has only protein and dna that is deoxyribonucleic acid and virus do not have their own biochemical mechanism therefore the virus is unable to make chemical substances such as proteins necessary for life viruses do not have their own biochemical mechanism therefore they enter in the human body and use the human cellular machinery to make their essential chemical substances therefore to kill the virus there are less virus specific targets this is why making antiviral drugs is harder than making antibacterial drugs despite this medicines to control chickenpox hepatitis b and hiv infection have been manufactured treatment prevents progression and recurrence of disease it reduces the mortality rate and improves the quality of life however we should take medicines as per doctor's advice and we should avoid self medication so today we have learned about the principle of treatment 